This one is based on congruent shapes or congruency as it is commonly known. Now congruent figures are shapes that they have the same shape and the same size. Now you've done this in grade 8, but just again a reminder, same shape and same size. In other words, when two figures are congruent, corresponding sides, very important, and corresponding angles are all congruent, or by congruent we mean exactly the same. Look at the example here. You notice that those two sides are the same, those two sides are the same, and those two angles. So such two triangles are congruent, and because they will match, it will be a perfect match. If you take your two hands, it will be a perfect match. But don't worry, we will do our construction on that. Today, you can ignore the mental maths. I'm okay with that. Because it didn't come out very clearly, so ignore the mental maths. Right, and let's do the first one. The first construction is based on the rule side, side, side. Now, if three sides of one triangle are equal to three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So we're going to prove that now by using a construction. So what we must do now is we're going to construct triangle ABC. Right, let me just show you the sketch. You're going to construct triangle ABC with AB 5 centimeters, AC 3,5, and BC 4. Then also triangle PQR with QR5, PQ 3,5, and PR 4. You'll notice that three sides of this triangle correspond with three sides of this triangle. So we're going to construct it and see are they exactly the same. So let's get started. So step one is draw AB 5 centimeters, right? So there's my AB. And AB is 5 centimeters, right? Then the next step is to draw uh, AC, 3,5. So AC is 3,5. So let's measure our 3,5. There you are on the ruler, 3,5. And that is from A to C. So you draw an arc there. So C is somewhere there. Then the next one is draw BC 4 centimeters. So BC 4 centimeters. So from B to C, 4. And C should be up there. Right. So let's just draw those lines. That's B, C. And A, C. Right. And that completes the first triangle. Then we must do triangle P, Q, R. With P, Q, with Q, R, 5 centimeters. So Q, R. QR 5 centimeters, QP 3,5, right? QP 3,5, 3P 3,5, right? Draw your arc, and then the other one is RP 4 centimeters, right? So RP four centimeters so from there draw your other arc so PQ so that should be P then so if I draw it right then I should have that and guys let me just put in the values here so this is four centimeters three comma five four three comma five and if I cut them out like I've done here right I cut that, that one out and I cut this one out as you can see so if I remove them and put this one on 
top of that one, then they will be a perfect fit. Right. They will be a perfect fit. So therefore, they are congruent. So there you are. Side, side, side. So when three sides of one triangle is equal to three sides of another triangle, then they are congruent. Good. Angle, side, angle. Also known as angle, angle, side. It doesn't matter. Angle, side, angle or angle, angle, side. If two triangles are in the included side, now very important, the side must be included. So it's two angles, included side of one triangle are equal to two angles and included side of another triangle. Then the two triangles are congruent. So there you are, we're going to construct triangle ABC with BC 4,5, this angle 60, this angle 45 degrees, right? Okay, so it's two angles and a side, the same here, 60, 4,5 and 45. But I'm not going to do this construction of perpendicular lines and bisecting a line, I'm just going to use the protractor so that is fine, right? We're going to use protractor for both 60 and 45. Are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all, draw BC 4,5. BC 4,5. Sorry about that ugly line. BC 4,5 centimeters. Right? Take your protractor and measure angle B 60 degrees. Right? So there you are, 60, remember you move in that way, 60 degrees, okay? Draw your line, okay. and then on this side, angle C, 45. Now you must go in that direction, 45, right? 45 degrees. And that completes the triangle, right? So this should be A, right? So this is 60 degrees. And that is 45, right? The same with the other one, PQR. First your line of 4,5, right? That is your QR. Then your angle B. From in that direction, remember, 60 degrees. And then of course, your angle R, 45, in that direction, don't forget, right, 45 degrees, and this should be P, so this is 60, and that is 45, so there you have it, two, ang two, uh, sorry, two angles and one side, two angles and one side, right, and if you cut them out, like I've done here again, cut out, cut out, and they will be, again, a perfect match if I put the one on top of the other one, and they will be a perfect match. So there you are. It's angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side. End of the video. Okay, grade nines, second part of the same lesson, week two, day one, and remember we are busy with congruency, and we've done this one in the first video, side, 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 now in the second video, we are going to do this one, side, angle, side, this is our next one now, if two sides and the included angle, very important, of one triangle are equal to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. And the rule is called SAS, side, angle, side. Right, let's do it. So step one is construct triangle ABC with AB 5,5, angle B, 60 degrees, right? And of course, BC 4,5. Same here, PQR, PQ 5,5, angle Q 60 degrees, 
and QR 4,5. And let's again see, are they congruent? Right, let's get started. So that is the one in the first video, right? So we must draw AB 5,5. Right. So there's A, B, 5,5. Then angle B, 60 degrees. So take your protractor and measure 60. So from 0, you move like that until you get 60. Draw your line. Right. And then take your compass and B, C is 4,5. Right. BC is 4,5. There you are, right? BC is 4,5. Put your compass in there, and there you are. So this should be point C. Right? So there you are. Let's put in the values. So this was 5,5 centimeters. This angle 60 and this 4,5 centimeters, right? Then next you must do triangle PQR and PQ is 5,5, right? So there's PQ, also 5,5. Angle Q is also 60 degrees, also 60 degrees. Right. And the length of QR is also 4,5 like the previous one. So 4,5. Right? So this should be my R. If I just draw it like that. So this angle is 60 degrees. And of course this is also 4,5. And again, if I cut them out, I will have that one there and this one there. If I cut them out, sorry, right? And you will also notice if I put this one on top of that one, it will be a perfect match. Right, so there you are. Side, angle, side, side angle side right so there you are so there's your two proofs that these two triangles are congruent include angle because the angle lies between the given sides include angle because it lies between the two given sides end of the video angle of 90 degrees hypotenuse and another side so yes we're going to use a right angular triangle so we're going to construct BC 4 centimeters AC 6 the same here RQ 4 PQ 6 and this angle here angle B and angle R will be 90 degrees now there are different ways of doing it you can either use your protractor to measure it right or if you have a set square like this then this angle here is also 90, so you can just use it, right? Or you can use your compass. There are different ways of doing it. I'm going to use the easy one. Okay, here I'm going to use my protractor to show you, and here I'll use the compass just to show you the different methods of getting an angle of 90. Okay, let's get started. So step number one, draw BC. 4 centimeters, right? So there's BC. BC is 4 centimeters. Then to get this angle B 90 degrees, I'm going to use my protractor. If I put it there, then of course there is my 90. You can see guys, there is my 90. And there I got my angle of 90 degrees. So this angle here is 90. Then AC, of course, is 6 centimeters. 
right? So AC is six centimeters. There you are. And draw your arc. So this should be point A. Right, so there you are. There's your right angular triangle. Right, so this is six centimeters, right? Let's do the same with PQR. So first start off with uh, RQ four centimeters. Right, so I'm doing it here. RQ four centimeters. There's RQ. Again, this angle here must be 90, so I'm going to use a different method. I'm going to use my set square, because remember this angle here is 90, so I'm just going to put it there. You see guys, because that angle is 90, and then you can just draw your line. So there's, see there's different ways of getting an angle of 90, or like I said, you can use a compass, we've done it in previous uh, constructions, so there you are. Then A, then uh, PQ is also 6. Right? PQ is also 6 centimeters. Right? And draw your R. Right? So there you are. So this is P, 6 centimeters. And there you are. We have angle of 90 degrees. Thick. We have the hypotenuse. 6 and 4 is the other side. You see? Angle of 90, hypotenuse and another side. So if I cut them out, like I've done here, will fit nicely. Right? So there you are. And if I put the two on top of each other, they will be a perfect match. Can you see? So there you are. The fourth proof of congruency. So to summarize now, the first one we've done was side, side, side. Three sides of one triangle equals to three sides of another one. Then we've done the one with angle, side, side. Or we also said, you can say side, side, angle, doesn't matter. Then the third one was angle in the middle and side. So side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. And the fourth one was angle of 90, hypotenuse, and another side. So there's your four proofs for congruency. Right. End of video.